tight. You're gonna, you need to use all your cues. Again, come on, you wanna stay tight, but focus. Head, head, and head up! Head up! Head up! Go, 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 go. Come on, What you're about to see are clips taken from an event we created called Train Your Ass Off with Dave Tate. Two main objectives to this event with one overreaching goal. The two main objectives are to teach the best technique possible on one of the main lifts. In this case, it was the squat. The second objective was to be able to teach effort and intensity so they understand what training hard really is. And then from there, it's much easier to grasp and understand what training um, submaximally is. And then the overreaching goal of all this is for them to be able to utilize this information to make their training better and to have their lifestyle help their training instead of take away from their training. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to take, you know how you're supposed to breathe into your belly, right? So I want you to breathe into your belly. See what happens? You're pushing into the floor, it's not so easy, right? Breathe into your belly. Okay, what I want you to do is to take one of your hands and put it right in your oblique. So feet. Feet, knees. Feet. Do it, you're gonna do another one. Okay, stop. Okay, tilt, chest, arch, arch, arch. Tilt, air. I don't want it coming here, air here. That's still bars coming up. I don't want the bar up, air. Squat, knees, knees, head up. There, good, Wrap. See that bar comes up when you breathe like that, it's gotta come back down at some point. And usually it's gonna come back down when you're squatting up. And that's not a good thing. You see what I'm saying? You see why? Because that comes down, it pitches you forward. So we wanna keep it down. That's really, I mean, forget about the breathing and the bracing and all that other shit. The real reason that I see that you wanna have this is to keep that bar from doing that stupid shit. You know, if we can keep that bar down that whole time, because I, I can guarantee it will stay down the whole time because your air is here. I can't guarantee you're gonna be strong enough to keep it up high the whole lift. Because as soon as you start to fatigue or strain, what's gonna happen? You're gonna breathe and it's gonna break down and you're gonna pitch forward and miss. So forget all the other stuff. That's the, the mechanics behind what we're trying to do because that bar is moving this high just from your breathing, that can be taken off of the range of motion of the concentric part of the lift. You know, that's low hanging fruit, man. Just pull that shit and that's, you know, I'm not gonna make predictions. It's, fuck, it could be 50 pounds on your squat. You were on a mat too, right? No. No mat, just the box? Yeah. Feet, knees, get this shit fucking tight, right? Get your head on the white tape. Good, I want your head higher. Go to the yellow collar. Better, good. Sternum, stop, stay there. I know it's not that heavy. Act like there's a string right here, pull into your sternum. And as you squat down, that string's pulling your sternum up the whole time. String. There, a good. One more. Good. Crack. Let me know if the shit starts getting heavy, like heavy, heavy. Yeah. Because I don't want to kill you by reps. Yeah. Okay. Especially, what's your max? Okay, like we're getting close where I don't want to start. I mean, pretty soon I just want to be hitting singles and not stop, hold for 15 seconds and Matt. Yeah. Okay, you guys are gonna have to help me out on the max. I'm just a meathead. 
and how you got like horse whispers. They know how to train horses. I'm like a fucking barbell whisperer. So I don't know this shit very well. Like I'll forget mats and crap like that, but I know the bars. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're one of the stompers. Good, okay. Remember, butt back, butt back, arch, arch. Yellow collar. Yes. Right, good, you're good, you're good, good, good. Hell yeah. Am I feel different? Yeah. You lying? I wish. Okay. I mean, you already called me out like twice on different shit, so I don't think you're gonna lie to me. Fucking 90s. <laughs> You'll get old too. Whatever you say, get this tight in the very, you mean my hands or you mean my shoulders or like both? Everything. Okay. I want everything tight. But I'm trying to see if like, one leads. What are you lead... trying to get tighter, like my hands or? Well, what I'm trying to do is to see if one's going to lead to the other. Okay. Okay, like if right now I know that your hand is not making this tighter. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to start worrying about your lats. Okay. And trying to work that tighter. But this, this doesn't mean this doesn't, this shouldn't be tight. Okay. Okay. Right. It still needs to be tight. So here, that's what I want tight with that tilt here. Good, head. Your head's your biggest thing. Okay, go. Good. Do another one. Okay, you're starting to rush things, man. Rack it. Don't rush it yet. It's just two and a quarter, okay? Because you're starting to fall forward and okay. do shit off of the box that you shouldn't be doing. I'd rather have you sit on the box and actually count 1,001, then come up, because okay. it's not going to take any, it's not going to take away your stretch reflex, it's not going to take away any of that, yeah. and it's going to get you a little bit more under control, especially if we're working up. Okay. I think as we work up, you're going to get even more out of control. Okay. okay, hold on. All right, tilt, pelvic tilt. There, there's your start, right? Mm -hmm. Keep your head right, mm -hmm. let's roll. Go. Yeah. Again. There you go. Good. Rack. How's it feel? It feel bad. Huh? It doesn't feel bad. That means it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like that. What, what feels weird? What's the most weird part about it? Usually. I feel like I should have already had air before I even unrack it. Okay, we can do that. I just, I mean, we can do that. I mean, that's a monolift, right? right. So you actually should. Right. You know, so if I pick out of the monolift, I, everything is already pulled before I even stand up. Right. Okay, so we, we'll work on that, okay? But you can't, you know, if you're going to walk out in training, you can't do that. I but I yeah, I got to. I that, that's on me, that's on me, because I need to remember you're taking it out of the model lift and you should, st I mean, boom, it should be rock steady. Okay, so that, that's on me. I need to get in front and see what you're doing instead of, right now your bar path is pretty good. I'll start focusing really hard on that. I start getting close to like anybody's PR, let me know. Because I don't want to run over the table and see what everybody's fucking PR is. We're just going to keep working up, but I don't want anybody I'm not a big fan of missing weights ever, okay? So I don't want anybody to get fucking smashed. Three plates, three plates cool? Everybody cool, three plates? And start going singles. Okay, head, 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 back, 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 right? Get that, bring your hips in, or actually flare your knees out. Let's do that, so open your taint, right? Breathe, big air, stand straight up, good pick, good, flare, flare, up, good, okay, get those knees, we gotta, you, gotta, you gotta really, really push those knees, right, they're starting to, boom, well that's, what usually happens. Well, that's not gonna happen, we gotta fix that, all right, <laughs> that's, that's the glutes, right, which we already kind of saw, Same way? Yeah. okay, it's just, 
this is where the glue starts to manifest itself. It's like, okay, the glutes are weak here, the glutes are weak here. So we got actually, I can show you exercises to help build that up. Let's try to turn your toes out a little bit, see what happens okay. too, okay? Same way we go up, go. fuck it. You sign a waiver, I don't give a fuck. Step. You're good, you're good. Don't worry about that. Don't let the bar get tight. Head, head. There, good. Things are starting to come a little bit easier yep. because now you're mentally starting to lock in because yep. the weight's getting heavier. So what you need to do though, is you got to treat the weights under this Everything. with the same respect as you, as you would treat everything above it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? The old saying, treat heavy weights like they're light, treat light weights like they're heavy. Yep. This is why. You see what I'm saying? Because all those reps beforehand during a normal training day would just be warm up where they can be reinforcing good technique. Yep. But they weren't because you weren't giving them the same respect. Yep. You know, 365 is where you start giving the weight a little respect. Yep. All right, make that the bar. Okay. Little shit like that, man makes a huge difference. Head, tight. That looked like horse shit, racket. Okay. All right, they didn't, forget it, that didn't happen. And we'll still work up, but that, yeah. that's what happens when your, your air's not, your timing's not right. Yeah. Timing's a part of everything too. That's why you use the mental checklist, right? Run through it. Because one thing gets off timing wise just a little bit. Yeah. See how it just steamrolls? Yep. Now, if that was 40 more pounds, right. you know, Correct. you wouldn't be able to muscle fuck through it. Right. But with a perceived max of 405, you're muscle fucking through 365, which isn't bad. Right. No. No. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. If you're saying 405, you can do that with yeah, yeah. You're going to take, let's go a tad wider and turn the toes just a, not much, just a little bit. Is that normal? No, it's fine. Where's your normal? Okay, you went too far, just a tad there. Okay, okay, drive your hips under the bar, keeping that arch. Lead with your traps, with the pick, nose first, big air, try to break your belt. There, break the fucking belt. Make sure the box is there, up, good, okay, good. Okay, good. Strength is there, but we gotta get that, we gotta figure something mm -hmm. with those knees. Um, I'm real hesitant on moving people wider real quick. Do you think that you can go a little wider without straining that adductor? I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get hurt. Okay, okay. But it's usually a slow process. Like you would go, you know, maybe from here. This is how I always would teach it. So if you're here, the first would be here to here, right? That'd be the first time, then here to here. Would be the next one, you know, so over also, weeks. I do it every once in a while real wide, but I'm just not very flexible when it comes to going deep that wide. That's because of this. This, we, this you can fix this. Cause I'm this, even squatting wider because I'm squatting down on the box. Like if I wasn't on that box, I bet you I'd be a little bit narrow. Okay. You need to get a little, I think you need to get a little bit wider to be able to get the knees out, right? Now, because this hip flexor thing is part of your warm up, that's gonna be addressed every time you go in the weight room. Mm -hmm. So what, four times a week? Three, I don't know how many times you go in the weight room, but five, six, so five or six times a week, mm -hmm. you're gonna be hitting that warm up and that. So your hips, that, that's gonna open up. That's not gonna be a problem being tight, okay? It's, it's a problem here moving it out too wide being tight. So we're gonna kind of play our feel and you know, just communicate, okay? Cause I wanna move you out wider cause I think that's gonna be the answer, a big answer to your knees, okay? Um, if we get you out wide enough, you're gonna have to lose the heels too, okay? So that's the other thing is you're not there yet and I don't wanna take you there yet because it's gonna be too wide, but that may end up being where you're gonna be. Is out wide enough, you gotta drop the heels, right, yeah, that makes sense. you know, okay. But my number one goal is not, for you guys to not get hurt. You know what I'm saying? To get you strong and to teach you how to squat, but not get hurt. Remember arch, arch. 
good rack. Up, up. So you got a lot of muscle, you got a lot of, go ahead and step out. You got a lot of muscle right here mm -hmm. because you fuck up so many lifts. Yes. Okay. That's, and <gasps> this is not a bad thing because you want that area strong. Like the one thing I make fun of, you know, with lifters, if they have that little gap between their shoulder blades, you know what I'm talking about? Like they're walking and you look and there's like, you know, where he has this turn around, this, this big mound right here. It's like a hole. It's like, how'd you get a hole there? Right? Well, that means they don't lift anything heavy because that's where the shit should be thick. But if you're a bodybuilder, you know, you, you need that because that separation and so forth where big fucking thick stuff like that is good. If it's a side effect of lifting correctly, this is a side effect of fucking shit up because it should be thick down here too. And it's not like if this thickness went all the way down to here, you would be lifting three, 400 pounds more on the squat and deadlift. Okay. So you, I know you can build the muscle. You fart. fucking did it, right? We just got to build it down lower too. So when we're taught, when we're later, when we're talking training, we got to really, really talk about building your erectors up big time to help balance that shit out. Cause genetically you have the ability to build the muscle back there, you know, and it's halfway done just by fucking up. Right? So, hey, there's always good to the bad. Strong, I've always hit all my PRs in the gym by accident. That's because you gotta fucking muscle fucking strain it up, but there's- I just don't know how to do math. <laughs> you don't need to know how to do math. You just need to know meathead math. 135, 225, 315, 405. The kilos start fucking you up a little bit though. Yeah. Unless they're 55s, because it's like, you know what I'm saying? I, I've learned that just in the last month or so. I'm like, this, this shit ain't too bad. Like 110, 220. 330, 440, this is easy. Like, I like this shit, you know. Yeah. But the fucking 110s, man, like, like the, oh yeah, this works. Takes up less space on the bar, so it's like, it's gotta be lighter. Can <laughs> I make a cue suggestion? Yeah. Uh, make the double chin. Okay. You know, the guy weighs like 110. He's seen people with double chins. <laughs> right, people with double hey, just chins. because you got three chins doesn't mean, <laughs> listen to me, I'm the fattest fucking guy in the room. <laughs> there, your head is everything. Good. I think your stance is a little crooked. Yeah. Remember, focus on the step, the, focus on your steps, right? Yep. Don't rush the second step because the bar was crooked. Right. Okay, yeah, I almost pushed it, you know, back. Yeah. All right, and I held back because it's, it's still kind of light for you, yeah. but that that's gonna throw you off with yeah. maximal weight because you're gonna twist. Yeah. yeah. And it's, all it is is just taking one extra yeah. millimeter of it, you know. Yeah. Step, step, everything tight, no dive bombing. Tight here, head, look at the yellow collar. Squeeze tight, 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 and up, up, there. Crap, good job. How'd it feel? Pretty good, I just felt like I was holding it up there for a long time before I went down, so. That's I, me, yeah. that was, that's, that's good, that's yeah. fine, you know. But it felt good, the rep yeah. felt good. You, you have to, I didn't stress that, but you guys need to learn how to hold the bar yeah. a little bit longer before you squat than normal, because that's part of grounding too. Okay. Okay, because you can try to, he's, I'll talk to you after he goes, because he's wrapping. <clears throat> yeah, make sure everything's set for him. And I'm gonna need the side spotters with him as well. And make sure the box is under him, right, okay? Um, I gotta be in front with him. So you won't know the box until he starts to get underneath there. Okay, okay I want you to go a little wider. Mm -hmm. Go a little risky wide. Mm -hmm. You good there? Sure. Okay. Bring the box in. Because he's going to squat straight down. Bring it in more. Okay. Now you're going to flare real hard. 
Tight. There. Drive your head back. Ah, too late on the head. Knees out! God damn it. God damn it. Fuck. We need to go a little wider. Fuck. It's, it ain't harder. It can't be harder. See, that's not that hard when I do it. What's that? Like, back in my, my shitty form that I do, it's not that hard. You might have to take two steps back to take three steps forward. No, I understand that. Okay. Um, I don't know that for sure, though, because you still got some strength to be able to determine that, to be able to know. Dave, did you want to say anything about the, like, bar settling? And taking yeah, and yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> you want to, part of the whole grounding thing is, you know, bars move, right? Like, he's crooked and stuff like that. So after you got the bar set, you just, well, you got to wait for the judge, right? So first off, prepare yourself for the worst case situation. The judge isn't paying attention, yeah. right? So, or he's just being a dick. But while you're sitting there, even if you're holding it too high off of yourself, like, um, God, which one of you? You, you do it a little bit, right? If you're holding it too high, you, you're just going to fall. Yeah. It's because you're holding it. Right. All right. So if it's like one, two, three, you know, you don't want to hold it for 10 seconds. But right. the longer you hold it, the more that weight yeah, like grounds you into the floor. Yeah. Remember the wedging that I was talking about? Yeah. The other thing where this comes into play is if they have a platform that's a, a whack platform, which happens more times than you think, um, especially now if they're putting, if it's in a gym, usually it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. But if they're putting it in an uh, expo or something like that, it's usually on staging. Staging is not made for 600, 700, and 800 pound squats. Right. All right, so a lot of guys will pick and you'll see the complaints from, I don't want to mention names of the meets, but you've seen the complaints that the staging sucked, the platform sucked, that was moving all over the place. You know, my response to that is, why didn't you just hold it longer? Right. Because you take it up and you hold it and it settles, it settles, it settles, go. And what I do is, you know, Ted's training for a big, you know, he's training for a grand that's gonna be multi-ply. Multi-ply has got a tendency to throw you around a little bit more. So I gotta watch the bar and say, hold, 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 hold. Are you holding your air that whole time? Yes, yeah. he has to hold everything that whole time. Yeah. Because if, even if this is moving just a little bit, they're not going. If the bar sometimes will roll, you know, down the back a little bit, I can see that happening with you. If that bar's rolling, I'm not gonna say go until that bar stops. Right. I want everything stopped, then I'm gonna say go, and then they're gonna go. Right. So yeah, sometimes it can be a freaking nightmare. Yeah. Um, I just do this stupid spider bar taking it out of the rack, and I gotta hold it, some, and I don't have somebody telling me to go, I gotta go on my own, you know, and it's, it's a motherfucker sometimes, because the shit gets heavy. You're like, this fucking thing is heavy and it's heavy as fuck. And it, I can't go because I know I'm not grounded yet. It's like, you, you'll know when you feel grounded. You know, it's um, more experience. Lift, you'll, you'll know, let's put it that way. As you gain experience, you're going to know. But to, to go step, 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 go. Whew. Everything's still dancing. Yeah, like, it's like, still moving. You want to go so fast that, like, right. if these are still jiggling, right. you're dealing with a lot of stuff you want to need to deal with. Right. Yeah, and the to become a grandmaster of this, right? Let's say you get in a meet and the bar sucks, and, and you're out here and the bar's whipping. Well, you got to hold it, and the bar's still going to whip. It's not going to stop. You got to go on a down whip. Right. Trust me, I know this because yeah. look at the videos. There's one video of me squatting when I was competing. I'm shaking like a motherfucker. Watch real close. I go on the down shake. Because <laughs> I go when it's not when I'm shaking up, but when I'm shaking down. Yeah. Because you have to be conscious of that. Because ultimately, it's you controlling the weight, not the weight controlling you. All right, so that's taking that little extra time. Right. Okay, who's up? So a 10 and a 2 and a half would be a PR. So we'll go 10 and 5. No, I'm sorry, we'll go 10 to it. I can't put a chip on there, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> 10 and a 5. Right. Yeah. Put a quarter on first. I mean, it's just like 900 or something like yeah, that, you know? Right. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out the math. So okay. Okay. A 10 and a 5. And with, when, when it gets heavier like that, don't slow down. Okay? Because say it starts coming up good, yeah. don't think that it's going to continue that way. Yeah. 
I always drive through. You know, you see that a lot on the bench, yeah. you know, where, you know, they'll quit pushing. I'm like, and afterwards they're gonna, they'll tell you, man, I thought I had it. Yeah. I'm like, well, you never think you have it until you rack it. Cause this shit creeps up on you sometimes out of nowhere. But the technical things that you're trying to fix, actually both you guys stay with the box until you fix it and then move out. Okay, mental checklist. Take your time. There, big air, heads right, everything's right, good. Take, good, there you go. That's what, we're, that's what we've been waiting for right there. Except, <laughs> there's always a but. Yeah. You had that one extra step on yeah. your walkout. But if that's all you gotta do, that's, yeah. that's okay. It helps me a little bit. That's okay. I'd rather you do that and then go with a non-optimal stance. Yeah. See if you can find, somebody got a smaller belt. Yeah. This one's too big for me, so try this one. I'm gonna show you a trick. I can't believe you guys don't know this, but yeah. You know. You're sitting there fucking around with your belts. Holy cow, I'm too fat for this belt, man. I gotta find mine. <laughs> Fuck that, that's not on film. Don't kill yourself when you can use leverages, right? So, I don't know whose shit this is. See, all I do, grab that, and then lean and twist. And now that's actually tighter than I would ever have to wear it. But I'm not killing myself. Trying to put the belt on. Just you can use. Go ahead and use that. Anything that's got knurling is usually better. But put your foot up here, and then just twist away from it. Same. I think get one more. Get your shirt out of the way. Your shirt's kind of bunching up in there. So you just get it up higher and turn away. See, look at that. And it doesn't have to be a barbell. It can be a rack, you know, a rack post, monolift post. But there's no sense in sitting and trying to kill yourself wedging a belt on. Tight. You're gonna, you need to use all your cues. Again, come on, you wanna stay tight, but Focus. Head, head, and head up! Yep. Head up! Go, head go, up! Go, go, go! Come on! I'd help you a little bit in one little spot where you got stuck, but then my hands are off, they, they can tell you. Yeah. So, no, you did not do it, yeah. but the help that I gave was minimal. Yeah, I didn't even realize you helped. Yeah. Like, I may not have had to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't want, if somebody was in here and was straining that hard, yeah. I don't want them straining like that and training. Right. Not that hard. So you very, you very likely could have done that. If you kept your chest in the right spot, like down you would have done it. Yeah. And here's the thing to keep in mind, you've done nothing today to physically get stronger. Right? And you're in the off season. Right, physically, right. And hit a PR. So there's only one reason why you would have hit a PR, and that's technique, right. or atmosphere, but let's, it's technique, right? Put more focus on technique in every fucking session you do. Yeah. Open your taint, man. Show me your fucking balls. Give me someone over there. Wider? That's good right there. I just, show me your fucking balls, man. When you stand up, open that shit up and push it hard. Big air. Big air, drive your head back, stand straight up. Good. Show me your balls. Up, up, up. Oh, oh Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Fuck. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, shit. You are 100% gonna have to take steps back to go forward. You're, that right there that you just did was you're a 600 pound squatter. If you can do that like that, that was fucking ugly. Yeah. I don't think anybody here will you know, disagree with me. That was fucking ugly. If you can take that, 
you're you're not displaying your strength to its greatest ability right. with the technique that you're using. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you go back and, you know, forget this set, right? But go back to the stuff that we were working on, getting that good position, keeping the knees out, sitting back, maybe even try to move to flats, okay? And then we'll show you some stuff to build your, your ass up to be able to fix that. But you're way stronger than, than you think. It's just not being demonstrated because of that, um, all this I mean, there's all multiple things that went yeah. fucking haywire there, and all that can be fixed technically. It just <laughs> if if you were here and you came here to train, mm -hmm. the conversation I would have with you would be, "When's your next meet?" And you'd probably say, oh, "I'd like to do something in 16 weeks." I'd say, "Fuck you! It's going to be 12 months." And the first three months, all we're going to do is technique work. So there's going to be no max effort work. There's going to be nothing over 70, 80 percent. It's all going to be dynamic effort method, you know, sitting on a box. Um, I would do waves. I'll talk more about this at the end, at the end. but I do waves, you know, of sets of two, you know, like first week, 10 sets of two, second week, 12 sets of two, third week, 15 sets of two. Next wave, you start at 12 sets of two, 15 sets of two, 20 sets of two. All right. And then keep waving it until we are getting to 30 sets of two. All right, it's, but listen to me, right? The first two reps, if you're doing, even if you're doing a set of five, the third rep is done in fatigue. The fourth rep is done in fatigue and the fifth rep. So the only reps that actually help your technique are the first two. Mm -hmm. So why not just do those two? So if we're doing 30 sets of two, right? Mm -hmm. That's 60 reps working on your technique. So in a period of three months without training over say a 60% training weight, now you can still train everything else hard. We can have 500 technically sound reps with a stance that's gonna be wider, with flats, focus on pushing your knees out, and that's it. And I've done this probably 10 times with, or, well, 10 different people. And in every case I've done it, I let them work up after the three months, and they all broke all time PRs without ever lifting anything heavy right. because of the technique. But you have to commit to it. That's the tough part. When you got a meathead and you're telling a meathead, you can't be a meathead. You got to be a techni you know, technique head, okay? But that's what it's going to take because all those habits need to be evaporated. You know what I'm saying? Even on the days you feel good, you're like, man, I want to work up. Can't do it, you know? So I would base it on what, what's this with the... 450, like 470 or some shit. I would base the, the training on, uh, cause you, I mean, you're like a 500 max and then keep the percentages between 50 and 60% and then wave that. We'll talk about it more. Just remind me at the end, but we'll talk about it more and kind of lay it out. And then what you can do on the other days, you can do max effort shit, close stance, yoke bar, whatever you have access to. So you can still fill your meathead cup. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the squat, it's got to be fucking fixed. And that's really the only way it's going to be fixed. That would be with a straight bar every single week? Yes. It's, it can change. You know, it's, I mean, he's got a lot of shit going on, right? For at least the first three phases, yes. You know, after that, if all that stuff starts coming into play, you know, and send me a video and everything looks decent, then I can say, you know what, go ahead and use a yoke bar for the next three-week phase. You know, because his up, I mean, you saw as he got midway through, his upper body started to fall apart too. So it's not just the knees, it's the upper body too. So it's, the, the, there's good and bad, man. It's, it's a mess, right? But it's, and it's a big fucking mess, you know, not, not to fucking tear you apart. But the bigger the mess, the fucking greater it looks cleaned up. Right. I mean, you ever walk into somebody, you know, you ever walk into your, your your kid and your bedroom's fucking trashed, right? And your parents make you clean everything up. Then you walk in and after it's all clean, you're like, holy fuck, look at this place. It doesn't look anything like what it did before. And you're pissed because you had to clean it all up. But when you walked in, you're like, wow. And then you trash it again. But anyhow, you get my point. So that you can't just look at it and say it's all fucked up because when you look at the potential that can come from it, it's huge. The, I mean, 
I've had people come to things like this and all their techniques locked in. It's like, fuck, you know, all I can do is help them with special exercises and programming and all the other kind of stuff. They're not gonna have a PR a year from now, 200 pounds stronger, you will. You know, who the hell sets 200 pound PRs in one year? You will. I can guarantee that, you know, it's, that, that's for certain, you know, but if you keep doing this, you're just gonna keep muscle fucking it up. Uh, but it's got to be done in a way that you can do by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because your limitations that you have. Anyhow, let's keep rolling. I don't want you guys to get cold. But you're done, okay? You're out. Okay, where are we at here as far as weight? Uh, 455. Someone do the actual math. Uh, throw another plate on there. Oh, no, this is my... Uh... <laughs> this is what you did or more than what you did yesterday? That's about, yeah. It's about right. It's about the same. I want a little more than you did yesterday. All right, fuck it, let's toss it down. And lats. We want everything tight except this, right? I want all this shit tight. So that tight. Good. Come on. Stop. Stop. Focus. I want this tight, man. Big air. Big air. Down, down, down. And drive that head up. Head up! Go! Head up! Yeah. There you go, rat. Good job. Nice. Good job. Nice there you go. There you go. That's better. It's better than the last one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I go up plate. Alright. I don't take it over first. Is that going to take you like 5 15? Yeah. I had shoulder surgery in March, so this will be a post surgery. Post surgery, Peter. for a spotter to get back. See how he's using the first belt. And that kind of sucks for a belt because it's four by four tubing. Yeah, but. It's close. <laughs> the closer to the rack, the better. Look at the old videos of Cone. He used to do it right on the, the lift he was, the, the rack he was lifting on in the, in the meat. You know, so just walk right, right up in there for that meat, just pull it up right there. And, okay. Not only are you just showing everybody you're the man, you fucking are the man. Mental checklist. There, good. Tight, big air. Head, head, head. Drive the head back, head back. Easy, rack. Okay, let's do another one. I mean, you're, yeah, you yeah. Well you're the only one left. Uh, yeah, you definitely have 15 more pounds in there. Yeah, your call. Yeah. yeah, I mean, where do you want to go? Want to go a quarter? You're more than 15. Toss a 10 on there. You know what's on there now? Just the plates? Right. Yeah, uh, just the plates. Right. No, put a quarter on. All right. All right. Just a 10. Okay. A little more. Fuck, we went too far. All right. Yep. Okay. Rock and roll, man. Let's go, man. Tight. Let's go, man. Tight. Everything tight, tight. Head, head, head. You know, you know what to do. Just go through your checklist. It's no different than the last weight. Tight air. Drive your head back now. Head back, head oh, back! Nice. Rack. Take him in. Good job, good job. Woo, shit. Yeah, that's good. That's a PR? You sure not, not a one? Nah, he's done, man. Tear it down. Take it out, hold it, 
right? Don't lower it until I tell you to lower it. Get everything tight. Okay, watch his ass again. Okay, up. Bring it forward more. Depress your shoulders. No, depress your shoulders. Stay tight, stay tight. Now tuck, down, go. Bring it back toward me, back toward me, back toward me, back toward me, nope. Okay. Shock, just stay down. Okay, so he's losing all that. Okay, all right, okay, good. There's a lot of, there's a lot of upper back issues with all you except him that need to be addressed, which is good because we're gonna do back later. That, that's where the, the physical weakness is. You're thinking it's your triceps and you're the star, it's none of that. If you can't support the base, you can't, you can't push through it. Yeah, you can't push through it.